Okay, then time for us to continue. Now, obviously, after the previous episode, I did go ahead and equip some runes. Not going to make much difference in this particular instance we're in right now. Basically, I have extra Inferno on the weapon, and I have extra Radiance on the shield. Um, which, realistically, is only going to give me a bit extra mana. But not much else. So, obviously, we unlocked the shortcut in the previous, like, kind of major episode. So, surprise, surprise, that's the way we're going to be going. Go ahead and get off this way. Now there is some looting in the middle. I kind of want to leave that um, for like the back end of the episode. So what we're going to do is we're going to pass straight through, loop on around, and we're going to get the next shortcut. That's the plan, which comes from this. Uh, it's, I was going to say tower, but it's actually a bridge. Um, so we're just going to come on over this way. We already looted that side, so that's fine. Apologies, I just feel like I'm really, I'm feeling really fervent, right? like I'm really far behind. I really need to get ahead a little bit and. Try and get more of this stuff out for you guys. We got explody dogs, ex explody zombies. Now we have a very potent ring coming very soon, particularly if you were going to go to go um, pure inferno. It's also not me, but you guys could definitely be uh, equipping this and suddenly doing even more damage. I think it's this one. Yeah, there we go. Eight years mark ring. That is literally a percentage increase in fire damage. I think it's like five, might be like seven, a little bit over five. Um, but if you're if you're really wanting to stack on the fire damage, like you know, you're gonna get extra extra inferno on your weapon, and then you're gonna add that on. And then you know, you, this is this is how um, playstyles are built in this game. You start adding all of the different layers on, and that's how your character will continue to become more and more powerful. We're gonna need to change over. It wasn't me. I'm gonna need that. Love the eyes, Folly. Look at that. Freaky. Cinder bolts have been found. Alright, so like I said, there's gonna be loot over this side. You guys can clear that out if you want. But in the interest of trying to be quick ish, we're gonna drop down here. It should bring us close to. Yes. Big guy over there. Um, now what I'm going to do is, right, we're going to loop on over this way. We are going to have to beat him because there's, there's loot here. So, I like to come all the way up this way. Get out here like this. Any minute? Aw. Oh, it's going to be bad. Because he's going to be chasing us. No, he didn't. How unusual. Okay, so, um, this guy's completely cheesable down there. We don't even need to be on the roof. You can be on the roof. Um, but unless they've changed his pathing, this little wall thing just here, he recognizes it, as it, recognizes it as a solid barrier. So we can, like, do this, right? And as he gets a bit close, we're just going to go ahead and we're going to roll down. And then he'll turn around. <laughs> So it gives you plenty of time to get like damage down range on him. And if he gets a bit close, all we need to do is do a lap of the tree and then come back up to the wall. And now he's got to go all the way around. Are you going to get up? No. Thought maybe he was like, I've not seen him charge at the wall before. Thought maybe he was going to be able to get up, but no. All the other stuff's going to get me here. Typical. Okay, down he goes. Okay then, so, the next part, it's kind of dangerous, so just be careful. We've got some loot to grab, we're going to grab it all the way around, make sure all the enemies are cleared, because we've got a face thing now. You probably saw it as we were running by that we've got to deal with. So that's that done, that done, there, there were like just bits of loot around, I'm sure there was. Is that everything? 
Yeah, looks like it. Right, okay, so the item that we can get here, I believe, is right in front of us, right here, look. So, if you want to be, like, quick about it and don't want to fight the face enemy, it's up to you. There are a lot of enemies here, so this can get out of hand real fast. But you really want that antediluvian chisel, because that means we can now upgrade... Ouch. We can now upgrade the uh, lantern. And the root got me. Really? Okay, we're going to the right If I die this time, then we'll probably skip by it. And what, the main reason I want to get this in is because we are actually stood in a very good place to grind up large Duralium, right? So, if we can get this guy to drop a vestige, we can actually use that very close to here and then go ahead, cheese Mr. Ruiner as much as we want. Why, why is throwing fire at me? Where? How did you come down here? That's really... That's anomalous as hell. You never can... Why? Why are you down here? Never comes down here. Right, let's go. That crit. Love it. Right, <laughs> finally comes to recording it and it's like nope everything has to go wrong now yes that's right get away from that very good for me actually damn it slug got me there that's, that's why that's why you better drop me a uh, vestige I'll be annoyed if you don't now Get your own guys. It's exactly good for me. Well, there's a thing in the way. I could have yanked you there. Right. So we get that down. Vestige! Yeah, I'm justified. Also, rune. Right, so you could put it here if you want. But if you put it here, uh, Runa is going to immediately aggro on you. I don't know if you prefer that or not. Or, you can actually come slightly along this way. And there was another one right in this corner. So I'm going to choose this one because I like it more controlled here. Get that loot. Rest. So if ever there was a good time, so the items we've been getting from the Mimics, right? You could go ahead, get one of those equipped. Move this way. Where are you, Ruiner? I'm gonna pop that. God damn it! Where did you come from? I'll drop down now. Never mind. But you can see what I'm saying, right? You can just go ahead, cheese it from up there. Is it even that good? Where are you? Where is it? I don't know where he's gone. There you are. Looking for you. Right, so now we can just take this guy. Obviously, we want to take him down before our little poor thing runs out. Very impressive, sir. Very. What are you doing? I don't know what he's doing. Cheesing me back. Right, there we go. A loot. Alright, I'd love, I'd love for one to drop now. No, we didn't get it. We got loads of stuff, but we didn't get what I wanted. But hopefully that at least shows you guys Farm him, he will give you good amounts of Duralium. Which is useful. No, no item there. I just saw the body and I was like, wait a minute. Um, just, just, yeah, really useful to know about my opinion. Not see anything obvious sticking out. And we now have a very easy checkpoint to continue from. Which is also key, in my opinion. It's not necessary, but we got the vestige back anyway. 
And like, if you even wanted another one, there would be nothing stopping you from farming the face either. So you can get yourself up, because I think you can only carry five vestiges anyway. So like, we could go beat that one more time, get the vestige back and we're good. So, we get to continue on now. This is the street, yes. Come back this way. Lots of stuff that we can aggro. We're getting pretty far now, which is good. Yeah, that's the... We're nearly at the skeleton. That's the first part. We're not bothered about that right now. We will deal with that at the end of this one, probably. Um, Nothing to do up here. This kind of looks, looks like it should be like a shortcut or something. It just doesn't really give you that. There is a ladder. Let's use the ladder. Clue is in the flutter bias. Let's deal with you. Man. Do you mind, good sir? Sounds like this when you're happy that we made checkpoint, eh? Some nuggets, thank you. There's too much stuff I'm gonna go down here. Knock the ladder down. Don't you just love iframes, sir? Oh man, that charge forward got me up, caught me off guard. Damn it. Inferno ladies aggroed. I'm not going to make it. <laughs> that was pretty hilarious. I'm so sorry about that. Let's see if we could make it. Everything aggroed. Okay, so I fought the two of them properly this time. Now we can actually progress. Excuse me. Out the way. Too many of you. Altogether too many. Um, yeah, there's nothing to, uh... Heal ourselves out of this smith. Down you go. Then we go this way. Oh, there's loot there and everything. Hello. You're holding my stuff. Alright. I'm just going to go and get you in a, minute. in a minute then. So we're going to get through quickly enough. It's a bit cruel that she can just have that stuff appearing in here like that. Human mode, thank you very much. Axiom! Do you mind? This brings out right near an item. So if we go under here, she's gonna get me, isn't she? We'll get serrated staff. Yeah, same problem I had before. You could make a checkpoint in here. I don't really recommend it. But something we can do from in here in out in the Umbral world is absolutely cheese everything out there. They can't attack through that wall. I need some I need some mana stones. I have no mana stones. It's so weird, isn't it? It's so funny though. Okay. She can get spells through though, can't she? That's the only issue. Okay. Alright, there we are. Just making my life a bit easier now. So we could just back up though. Will doesn't want me to cheese you. Let's get him. Just like trying to take these on from range is just crazy. Even look close to kind of a bit crazy. Damn it. I'm on fire. Would you mind just giving in and locking me onto the on zombie instead of her there? That properly screwed me over.
I'm not going to make it. It's going to be another death. I'm so close to shotgun as well. Man, you can't even get a soul flay off. It's too fast, aren't you? There we go, right. Good thing is, that gives us access to the shortcut. The bad thing is, if I get breathed on, it's over. Right, that's good. I can do it. Confident we can do it. So we're going to go up and around. We're going to see the skeleton on the right. On the left, technically, is a really powerful weapon. But we need a checkpoint. So we just need to get past this skeleton right here. Real quick. Just roll all the way through. Don't get touched. It's fine. It's right hand side. Drop the ladder. We have the shortcut. It's what I wanted. Here we are. It was messy. But we got everything. That's what matters. So, uh, take a rest. That's all good. And what we're going to do now is clear out the front yard, basically, because we've done all of the loop arounds, but we didn't do the front bit. So, we need to come back through this way. Man, stuff just gets everywhere. Now this is more of a struggle than it will be for most. It's just because we are because we're in infer an inferno build. Everything is fire damage, right? So therefore, everything is resistant to everything we do around here. Ouch! Oh my god! Well, that went badly. Snake dude. Don't hit the mine. Oh, I need to put it right where I need to walk. Moving on, moving on, moving on. There's going to be another snake guy. Yeah, there you are. I think that's the one that followed me to the ruiner. Little bugger. God damn it. Where do you all you come from? No. I would say it's one of the most enemy dead series, but it's really not. The memorial area is going to be crazy. Clamp couldn't move. Yeah. I think we're having a uh, haste makes wakes moment. Uh. Haste makes waste moment. I'm trying to get around real fast because I knew I knew there was a lot I wanted to get in this video. And it's uh, doing the opposite. The snake's going to come over in a second. It likes trapping me in here, Sonic Paul. Come on down, come on down, come on down. Loot. knew you were going to come. I knew it. I did. Called it. Oh, you let me get close, didn't you? Ha ha ha! Ha ha ha! More fool you. Right, that's that done, that done, that done. We did this. We went up there. And that clears the front out. Here we are. Perfect. Everything done. Oh, everything loops up. Everybody knows where everything is. Lovely. I should not have rushed because we like had time to spare. Five minutes. Oh hello. You're uh, surplus to requirement right now. That's it. Right back in we go. It's really long to get on that upper area, isn't it? From out here. Where's how good that shulker was? Right, so... I really want to get back to the vestige. That's what I want to do. So that we can branch off from there. In the next episode. T 
yes, we'll cut this at the end of the episode. We'll start again from the vestige, and we'll be going up the ladder that we just unlocked. There's a lot of stuff up there, especially for us Inferno casters. We're going to be getting a an upgraded fireball. We're going to be getting a new weapon. I don't know if this character can actually use it. I don't think it can. We've got 20... Yeah, I'm pretty sure it needs 35 Infernos to use it. So... Inferno builds, rejoice. You are going to absolutely love the weapon we get in the next, in the next episode. But, mm, mm, but that's all done. I'll catch you guys very shortly as we continue on. I'm still going to get Vitality up, but it's going to have to be Inferno for now. We need the damage. Catch you all very shortly.